Hi everyone, this is Connie Heckman. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about high blood pressure. Um, I know lately a lot of people have been dying from high blood pressure. So I wanted to kind of do this video to kind of uh, give you guys a little bit more information about it. So that way you can kind of make some changes uh, to help you either get diagnosed or either find a way to maintain it or to be able to uh, um, prevent it. So that's the reason why I wanted to do this video. Again, I haven't done um, a nursing video for a long time, so I wanted to kind of do this. And I think going forward, I want to try to do a little bit more uh, nursing videos to just kind of educate you guys on different kind of diseases and what you can do to prevent it or what you can do to maintain it, right? So let's go ahead and talk about high blood pressure. Uh, we're going to try to define what it is. We're going to try to tell you a little bit about it. Uh, we're also going to tell you a little bit about, you know, what you can do to help yourself or to help your family member or to educate your family members about this disease. High blood pressure is also called hypertension. Uh, that's the medical terms. In this video, I will try not to do, uh, not to use a lot of medical terms because I really want you to kind of understand exactly what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, understand what the disease is and what you can do to um, prevent it or to be able to manage it. So it's called uh, hypertension. However, it's also called uh, the silent killer because most people have high, uh, high blood pressure, but they don't know they have it. Uh, sometimes you don't know because uh, there, some people might not even have a symptoms, so they might not know it's already late. So that's why they call it the silent killer. So before I start, I wanted to put a disclaimer out here um, that I am not a doctor, so I'm not trying to diagnose you with anything or trying to prescribe anything to you. However, I am a licensed LPN in the state of Ohio. So I'm, I have a license to practice nursing as an LPN. And I'm a home health care nurse. I go to my patient's home and I educate them on their diseases and what they can do to prevent it or what they can do to manage their disease. So that's why I wanted to take this opportunity to tell you guys about high blood pressure. So blood pressure is the force of the blood pushing against the, the walls of the, the blood vessels or the arteries. So if this pressure is consistently high, you will be considered as having high blood pressure because the pressure is too high and which causes the heart to have to work harder to pump that blood to the rest of the, the body. So before I get into uh, what causes high blood pressure and what you can do to manage it, let me tell you a little bit about, you know, how the body actually works. So the blood comes from all part of your body, goes into the heart. The heart then sends that blood to the lungs. The lungs take that blood and add oxygen to it and send it back to the heart. And the heart sends that blood to the rest of the body. And you need oxygen in your blood for these cells to grow or to live, to survive. If the cells don't have that oxygen, they will die. They will wither and they will die. For example, if you don't have enough oxygen going to the heart, the heart, the cells of the heart are gonna start dying. And guess what you're gonna have? You're gonna have a heart attack. The same thing with the, with the brains. If you don't have enough uh, oxygen going to the brains, you are going to get a stroke. So these are the things that will happen is some of these things are not taken care of in time. So the heart is almost like a pump. Um, like if you have a water pump that pumps everything out to the street, like if you have, you know, the drainage uh, system that pumps, they got a pump that pumps the water out to the street or pump the water out. So the heart is like that. The heart pumps the blood to the rest of the body. So the heart is very, very important. But when you have a high blood pressure consistently, that is going to put so much strain on the heart that the heart eventually is going to just give up. So normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. If you have 140 over 90, you are considered hypertensive. That means you have a high blood pressure. So you want to kind of keep it closer to 120 over 80. I mean, they got some variation variation there, but I don't want to have to go into that. But let me just, I just wanted to give you guys the numbers, all right? But if you, if you are consistently over 140 over 90, you are considered hypertensive. So some of the things that might cause high blood pressure would be family history. Um, genetics can increase your risk of getting high blood pressure. As well for us African-Americans or black people, we have a higher risk of high blood pressure 
than other uh, nationality or other race. Uh, so that's that's one of the things against us. But also too, if you have an increased intake of sodium salt, if you have a, if you eat a lot of salt, that could increase your risk of getting high blood pressure uh, because salt water goes wherever salt goes. So the more uh, water retention you have, the higher your blood pressure will be. So you want to kind of watch your salt intake. Uh, also too, if you're smoking a lot, if you're drinking a lot, or you have a lot of stress, that could cause uh, high blood pressure. You are overweight. Even uh, if you have a kidney issues, uh, kidney disease will actually cause high blood pressure because the kidney is not uh, working efficiently to uh, sift out all the, the waste um, you can always see like some people that are on dialysis uh, because they have kidney issues, their blood pressures are consistently high. So let's look at the effect of high blood pressure on the body. High blood pressure is very hard on the heart. Um, it makes the heart have to work harder to pump that blood to the rest of the body. And if that goes on for a long time, it can really affect the heart. It can cause the heart to, to develop a heart disease, um, which can cause... Uh, heart attack, heart failure, even strokes. So we gotta be very careful about our, our blood pressure because again, if we can be able to manage it in time, it can really help our heart to make sure that the heart is working efficiently. Because if not, the heart is going to get damaged and it's gonna cause a lot of issues. High blood pressure will even cause vision loss. It can also cause erectile dysfunction for men. Because if you have that blood flow going to the, the vessels, eventually that pressure, that blood vessel is going to get weakened. And then it's not going to be, you know, elastic enough to let a lot of blood flow go in that area. So eventually you're going to have issue getting erect. Um, so that's one of the major issues that blood pressure causes. I wanted to talk to men about that. So you want to probably make sure you're taking care of this right now. So you ask me like, how do I manage my high blood pressure? First of all, I'm recommending to everybody to go to your doctor. You need to make sure that you are being diagnosed. You need to make sure that your, your uh, blood pressure is being checked. If you are diagnosed with blood pressure issue, you need to make sure you take the precaution you need just to be able to manage it. But if you, before you get there, these are some of the preventative uh, things I will talk about. Um, you know, slow down on your sodium, slow down on eating salt, cut down your salt intake in your diet. If you are a big smoker, cut down the smoking, cut it down tremendously because that's going to really help your blood pressure. If you're a drinker, cut it down too. If you get stressed a lot, try to manage your stress better because stress can really cause, uh, you to have a higher blood pressure. Um, if you are overweight, Try to lose some weight um, and work out, you know, go work, work out. Working out can really help, you know, your blood pressure. Um, and also to just eating right, eat fruits and vegetables, uh, food with more uh, potassium in it to help your heart, you know, make your heart stronger. Uh, so these are some of the things you can do. But like I said earlier, you need to make sure you go to your doctor and you need to make sure that they tell you exactly what your blood pressure is. If you are being diagnosed with uh, blood pressure and you are put on medication, please, please take your medication. These medications are not something you take today and then you don't take it tomorrow. They are not, once you have a blood pressure issue, you have it. I mean, that's just what it is. So if, if you are being um, prescribed uh, medication, please take it. Take it every day. You can also do preventative things like I talk about, cutting salt out, working out, you know, eliminating stress or cutting the alcohol, or the, the smoking out. You can also do that in, a, in addition to the medication. But once you are prescribed that medication, please take it because I know a lot of us, especially Liberian, I'm Liberian, so I'm going to talk about us. We don't like going to the hospital and we don't like taking medication. But even men too, men don't like to, uh, going to the hospital. But anyway, so if you do get that uh, medication, please take it. Don't take it today and say, oh, well, tomorrow I'm not taking it. Take it. It's very important. All right. So these are some of the things you can do to really um, help your blood pressure or really manage your blood pressure. I'm recommending to you to make sure you are checking your blood pressure every day, either every day or every other day. You can kind of monitor like what your, your pressure is on a daily basis. 
if you want to do it maybe every other day i'll prefer every day but if you want to do it every other day that's fine but make sure you're doing it so that way you kind of know where your blood pressure is all right in that way if your blood pressure is high you can try to do those things that will kind of bring it down a little if you are very stressed try to kind of you know get away from that stressor and find something else that will bring your your pressure down a little if you are you know smoking hey cut it down you know maybe not cut it out but cut it down and if you are drinking a lot you know you can stop or you can just kind of drink you know once in a while but just cut it down all right so this i think i wanted to talk to you guys about about blood pressure because it's very important a lot of people are dying and one of the things i also wanted to say sometime too that you know i'm from liberia and some people will say oh this person died of brain aneurysm oh somebody wished them you know hey i'm not saying wish is not real because i figure you know when jesus was here he was you know casting out demons and stuff you know you can call it witch you can call it demonic whatever you want to call it but those kind of forces are still here however some of these things are not witch some of these things are just you know things that we could have done if we knew we could have done differently to save our lives but like brain aneurysm blood pressure can cause that too you know it can cause that because it will have effect on the blood vessels in your brains in you know your other parts so when, with the brain aneurysm, some people are dying, especially in Liberia, and I say, oh, you know, they wish them. I'm not saying nobody wish them, but I'm just saying sometimes it's not witch. Sometimes it's just these things that we need to do or these things that are happening to us that we don't know because, you know, we didn't go to the hospital to find out or we weren't diagnosed with it or we diagnosed with it and then they give us a medication and we refuse to take it. So one of the things I want to also, I will talk about later would be diabetes because that's one of the major issues that we're having, even in Liberia, it's one of the major issues we're having. And I want to talk about that, but I'll do it in my next video. If they give you that medication, take their medication and also check your blood pressure. I know some of you guys are out there, don't want to take this medication because you think that the medication will affect your uh, manhood. Yes. However, it is better to be alive than dead. So um, either if you don't take the medication and you, your blood pressure consistently still keep going up, it's going to cause a... Uh, issue with your, your blood vessel down there. So then there will be limited blood flow going down there, which will make it harder for you to, to get erections. Um, also too, if you are taking some of the medication, yeah, it will kind of affect your ability to get erections. However, but at least you'll be able to manage your blood pressure because the blood pressure don't just only affect that area, it affects your heart, it affects your kidneys, it affects other parts of your body. So. At the end of the day, I'm just really, really asking all the men to please, or anybody on blood pressure medication, to please take your medication. Don't say that, oh, well, I'll take it today, I won't take it tomorrow, um, like I said earlier. So please take it, because either way, you can save your life this way. But again, I just want to take this time to kind of talk to you a little bit about, you know, blood pressure issue um, and see how can I can help you, uh, what information I can give you to be able to prevent it, to be able to manage it. So that way you can be a, around for a long time because we want you around for a long long time we love you guys and we want you guys around and women you too you need to take this precaution if you guys are diagnosed with blood pressure blood pressure doesn't discriminate it doesn't care whether you're a woman or a man it doesn't care younger people not even getting blood pressure issues and on those days they used to say you know older people but everybody's getting it now so please take precaution please you know, watch what you're eating, you know, watch what you're putting in your food, especially sodium, cut down drinking, cut down the stress, you know, those kind of stuff will really save your life. Okay. But if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber to this channel, go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you guys in our next video. Like I said, I'll kind of do a lot of these kind of videos. The next one I want to do is diabetes. And these are just uh, for educational purposes. Again, like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm not trying to prescribe anything and diagnose you. But I want, I want to educate you on things that you can do to save your life or save a life of a family member. So please, please listen to this advice and take it and, you know, apply it to your life so that way you can be around for another 100 years. All right? I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. See ya. You still there? Ha, <laughs> ha,